Welcome to my kitchen table. Now, if you get invited to my kitchen table, let me tell you, this is a place of real talk. This is a place for being honest, open, truthful, safe, vulnerable, courageous. That's what this table represents. And this is why I do my videos from the kitchen table because it is a very special, special place. Today I want to put my cards on the table a bit. This is the early days of my YouTube channel. It's 2023 and I'm super nervous. I feel very exposed. I feel very vulnerable. I feel very oh, self-doubty and scared and all those annoying <laughs> feelings that you feel when you step out of your comfort zone, you do something new. But this has been a long time coming and I've spent a lot of time trying to get it right and when I say to get it right I mean like to make sure that I'm comfortable with what I'm doing and what I'm going to be sharing and that I've also gotten over myself in terms of certain insecurities and stuff but I also feel like some of those insecurities you'll totally resonate with but I kind of want to put them out there so that they're out you know them I know that when you're watching my video, I've shared this with you already, so you know a bit, about, a bit about me. Perhaps that'll help you be a bit kinder to me when you watch something or comment. But that aside from those insecurities, I've got a lot to share and I want to share it in a way that obviously is helpful, that makes a difference in people's lives. All I really want for for now, I guess my legacy, my mission in life is to just help people experience life in a different way, you know, to experience a whole new level, a whole new version of their life. And I want you to be able to do this in the most simplest way possible, like in ways that you couldn't even imagine would have such an impact on you, but yet they do. But first, and I will do that through my videos, but first I want to get through some of my insecurities so you know where I'm at. Firstly, what to wear when you're doing videos. Now, I have toyed with lots of different outfits, but speaking to a very good friend of mine who is a fabulous stylist, she has told me to go with the white top and to not put a jacket over the top, which I didn't do in my first video, but anyway we won't tell her that so that's what I've done now my insecurities are my arms I feel very heavy you know sitting here my chest is very big but those are those insecurities I am growing my gray hair out which I'm almost done actually I've only got a little bit left of the browns at the bottom so right now I don't really know my hair if that makes sense to you I don't know what this new hair texture should be in terms of styling. So I'm really struggling with styling my hair in the best possible way. And that's one of the insecurities. The other insecurity is probably that I'm not gonna script my videos because I don't feel I am my most natural self when I'm scripted. Like if I'm reading something, then I'm reading it and I'll give you lots of expression and it's probably quite jarring. So I'm not gonna script, I'm literally creating videos with a structure, like an idea in mind, right? I have bullet points, but really what I'm sharing with you is very much on the fly as if you and I were having a coffee together on my kitchen table. It's funny how you'll see now lots of celebrities talking about their insecurities, some of their mental health battles and things like that. And it starts to humanize who these people are that we look up to, right? But I don't think we'll always give each other the same grace. So right now, I'm nobody. In terms of fame, I am nobody. And that's okay, that might always be the case. But I have feelings, right? In the same way you watching this, you've got feelings. If you put something out on a platform and you are 
looking for people to engage with it. You'll have feelings associated with that. You'll want people to engage. You'll want people to like it or share it and things like that. And it, you do feel those feelings. And I feel like we offer a kindness to celebrities who are vulnerable, but we don't necessarily offer a kindness to each other in our more intimate relationships. For instance, I know that maybe some of my friends are gonna watch this video and that's gonna make me feel even more self-conscious than the public viewing the video because the public don't know me. So it's okay for them to, well, it's not okay, but I'm less likely to be bothered by what somebody in the public says. But somebody who I know and I have some sort of intimate relationship with, if they're watching it and they judge me, it's probably gonna irk me a little bit understandably you know I'm going to be thinking oh they're looking at me going I thought she was exercising last year well she hasn't lost any weight oh what does her hair look like why is she growing it out all those things so I thought instead of sitting here creating these videos putting them out there asking people to watch them and share them just put out there the things that I am concerned about by putting these videos together so that I know I have communicated what makes me vulnerable in the hope that you offer me a little bit of kindness, but even if you don't, that you see how powerful it can be to share your vulnerabilities in any space safely so that you can get over the hump of what's stopping you from progressing in something, right? This is my business, no one else's business. This is my mission, this is my choice to have a channel. So it's all kind of down to me to take responsibility of how I feel about myself and how I feel about what I'm gonna communicate with you so that this channel can bring you everything that I can see in my dreams and in my heart of what I want it to be for you. So now that those insecurities are out there, I'm feeling more self-conscious than I was before I clicked record, but I'll work through it. But now that they are all out there, I hope you've got a little glimpse into who I am and we can really get to the good stuff now. So have a watch of the next video.